All right, guys, you got a 2014 Camry, uh, 13 Camry, 2013, 14 should be same. So there it is. Uh, we're going to scan this baby. It, I believe it gave us a code. Uh, P0420. Uh, okay, we don't want to do it. Okay, let's get out of here. We don't want to do everything. We're going to go to engine. We're going to go code only current code and startability malfunction that might be something related to the battery but we got p0420 catalytic converter uh bank one so this only has bank one so i'm going to show you guys the best and the easiest fix for this so that is our catalytic converter right there do you really want to change a 1800 dollar piece this on my uh, customer's car was changed already as you can see the paint just started to melt off from the heat and so it's not that old, probably got like uh, 8,000 miles on it. But today's video, I'm going to explain to you why, what's going on here. We're going to fix this guy with just 65 bucks, probably a little bit more than that. Uh, no more than the $80. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put this baby in the lift. We do need to disconnect our scan tool. And let's put this baby in the lift. And we're going to do the simplest fix for this before anything. Before you replace that, you do want to do uh, oxygen sensor change. So what we're going to do here is, this is your upstream oxygen sensor. This is the air to fuel ratio sensor. So what happens is that all the fumes that's coming out of the gas are from the engine, the burnt exhaust, it monitors. If it's too lean, it will richen it up. If it's too rich, it will lean it up. So if you have a lean or rich code, this is the sensor you want to tackle. But there's a sensor down below all the way in the bottom of the vehicle. That's why we're going to have to jack it up, which monitors the health of this catalytic converter usually if that goes dirty or goes bad it will give you a code so we're gonna just replace it so that'd be the step one you would want to do you could clean the sensor but i would recommend uh before cleaning it um i mean i would recommend you clean it and try it but it's a lot of effort 60 70 dollar sensor replace it so let's go lift this baby up right, now we got this baby up on the jack what we're gonna do is we're gonna go underneath i got my knee pad right here and uh, here, here we are, here we are. Right here is our sensor. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this baby. So right here, you need to push on this tab here and pull the sensor out. Usually you can do it with one hand. Uh, you should be able to push this tab right here and pull the sensor out. And I usually like to get it out of this housing here. You could probably just Wiggle it out of there and it will come off just like that. And then I'm gonna get this off. So all you need to do is push on this tab and pull on this sensor. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. I had it budged a bit. I can feel that, you go. If I could do it with the one hand, you guys can do it. But now you could buy, you could put a tool here. This is a 22 millimeter. Okay, if this doesn't work, I am gonna go get a proper tool, but this should work. I might not have good leverage, but let's see what it does. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to get some good leverage here. And let's see if I can get my proper tool. But 22 millimeter will work on it, okay? Sometimes you got to tap on it. And I don't have a mount stand for my camera, so I can't let go of the camera. And I cannot, like, go back and hit it, okay? So I just get me a proper tool. Okay, so what I did was I pre-loosened it so you guys can see and I just banged it really hard and this baby will come off. Be careful if it's hot, you don't want to burn your hands. But this sensor is probably the original sensor in there. Look at that. Look at how bad that sensor is, okay? So, I'll do another video on cleaning on this guy, but it's really not much. I'd rather just change it. The sensor is not that expensive. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this baby to the side and wait for the new sensor. I'll show you part number and the cost of it before we put it in. Okay, guys, here it is. Oxygen sensor. You guys see the part number there. Denso 2344622. Toyota Camry. Uh, oxygen sensor. Four wire. Uh, list price is $110, but I paid $60.87. Usually I sell it for the same price and uh, charge tax. But if you go buy it off an account that you don't have a commercial account, it might cost you a little bit more. So here's the part number inside this. Uh, should be a four wire sensor. 
which is torn apart. <laughs> Somebody already touched it. I hate when they do that. And it's missing um, the letter tube with the uh, part number is the same there. So I'm gonna make sure the part number is same on the part on the part itself. Uh, anyways, I'm uh, missing the NTCs, but that's fine. Anyways, let's put this baby back in the car. Okay, so here's a little thing that I said I was missing from the package. Uh, it's the NTC. So you want to put this all around these threads, just a tiny bit. And even if you get one little spot, it will just spin around and get all around. So you want to get this all around the threads here. And like I said, if you put a little bit in one spot, when you turn it, it's going to capture everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to get this completed and we're going to go on to the vehicle itself. Nice and good, got the NDCs in. Let's go on to the vehicle. We're gonna go underneath here. Got my knee pad on the floor here. And you don't need to do anything whatsoever. You take this little guy, you stick this baby in. And what we're gonna do here is get this thing nice and caught up with the threads. After this, you wanna either torque it or if you don't have a torque wrench, just take your 22 millimeter and you're gonna just snug it, okay? Usually this is like around 33 foot pound. Uh, mechanic hand, best. There you go, perfect. What you wanna do next is, you wanna take your sensor and you wanna connect it. It's only gonna connect the one way, okay? Um, you see this little retainer right here? That goes towards this, uh, the, the push clip here. So it won't even fit any other way. It's only gonna go one way. And make sure it clicks like that and make sure you put this baby back into the slot. All you do is you go to the rear end and you slip it right in there. It slips right in. Okay, I'm on the wrong, no, I'm on the correct side. And it slips right in. Once I get it in there, that's it, I'm gonna leave it there. But that's it, we're all done. Even if you wanna strap tie it, you can strap tie it. After that, just reset your light and uh, give it a good about 100 miles before you go to inspection if you got an inspection do because you will fail it does have a cycle uh anyways thank you for watching my video see you guys on the next one uh shield is all off see you guys on more videos